Okay, hello guys, what's up? Welcome to another video, and today I'm just gonna show you a little bit of gameplay footage of Tomb Raider on my laptop. And I'm just gonna give you a complete specification of my laptop right on the description below. Just go ahead and check it out. And here we go, I'm playing Tomb Raider with a normal joystick, uh, emulated to be an Xbox 360 controller, and as you can see, it's surprisingly fine. <laughs> I mean, I, did, I didn't expect it to be fine, just, it's regardless, it's the way the game, I think, I think the way the game is meant is just, just regardless of how many RAM you got. <clears throat> Let's try to get some upgrades right here. Uh, our rewards, loading any corpse in our room, extra rewards, I really need to master this. Really, really good. Uh, okay, so, right, so uh, here we are, this first, I think this is the first time we got the, First time we got the uh, thing. Oh, oh great! I have to like turn it on back. Okay. Now, personally, about the whole game, I promise that I'm gonna review it in the end of my Mirror's Edge review. But the only thing I could say about this game is that it's basically my personal most disappointing game of 2013, and I couldn't even believe that I could say that. It's disappointing. Like, um, the story is could be better. The story could be better. The rest of the game is good, but the story could be better. Just could could have been so much better. It's just that um, it it doesn't have a consistent tone with the gameplay. The gameplay, all the way, Bioshock and Pluto, Indiana Jones like, and the story is the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight, Zodiac, all those, any kinds of movies that you may consider to be serious movies. But the tone of the gameplay is Bioshock and you know, Indiana Jones, Uncharted, all those goofy, silly adventure flicks. That's the kind of inconsistency that this game has. It doesn't have a consistent tone on the story, and even though this is an origin story of Lara Croft, Lara Croft herself is a boring character. And yes, they have more quality rather than just being a brick wall or just being a blank wall, okay? They're just being a blank wall. They have even more interesting qualities on them, but and yet it's Lara that they focused on, the more the most boring character out of all the characters that are in this game. I still don't get how I still don't get how the game focused on her. She's boring throughout the rest of the game. I, I never feel sorry for her. It's This is not the kind of character that I'm rooting for. It's just not. This is not the, how it was supposed to be written. But, here we go. We see Lara here. She's focused. The main focus of the character, the main focus of the whole game. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. But at least I could, at least I could get that. <laughs> I need to strong actually. Just gonna play it for a little bit. Before I can shoot this, you can take. Oh, the battery's on. <laughs> battery on my camera is gonna be dead. That's the point. Uh, so, that's a little bit of thoughts and opinions on Tomb Raider, and I'm just gonna go ahead and write a full review on it somewhere. I spoiled it some important parts here and there, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a full review sometimes in later. So, so there you go Tomb Raider on my laptop. It runs really well. Quite oddly well, surprisingly well, that is the only way to I could say. So before this camera turns off, because of the battery, I just gotta go ahead and this video. So there you go. Bye bye. See you guys later on the next video. And if you guys subscribe to me, so subscribe.